Hello and welcome to the final part of this mariculture tutorial where we'll go into fishing and fish breeding. So with the fishing there are four tiers of rods. You have the reed, the wooden, the titanium and the redstone flux fishing rod. Uh, the t uh, they're listed in the tiers there. I believe that's the tiers. Um, some of these rods you will need uh, fish oil to craft which takes a raw type of fish so if we search raw here so any raw fish if you hover over them it tells you um, how much fish oil each type of raw fish will give you and then you just export that and use it for your crafting Um, to catch fish, uh, make your first fishing rod and you're going to need some bait. So if you see here, these are all the bait types. If you hold shift over your rod in your inventory, you'll see what type of bait can be used for this rod. So if we get some ant bait, which is here, and you can get ant bait from dirt, grass, and actual grass itself, grass blocks and grass. So we grab some dirt, craft yourself a sifter, and then just throw the dirt in, and it will chuck out a load of bait. Now all you need to do is put your chosen bait type next to your rod, and cast away. Had the wrong type of bait there, as you see. Now, when you catch a fish, if it's out in the air for too long, it will die and turn straight into a raw fish. So, a good idea is to fish underwater so it stays in the water and doesn't die instantly. Or, create yourself an auto fisher, which I'll show you in a second. I um, just want to demonstrate the fish here. It should make a sound when it's ready to reel in. Any time now. Yeah, of course, it wouldn't do it because I'm recording. There we go. And because it left the water for a period of time, it just turned into a raw stingray instead of a live one. Um, there are eight species that you can catch in the wild. All have their own specific biomes. So you're going to have to do a bit of exploring to find your fish. But these are the eight. We've got minnows, cods, stingrays, some squid, damselfish, Neon tetras, netherfish, and nightfish. Um, the netherfish, obviously, found in the nether, and you just fish in the lava. So I've covered bait there, and the fishing rods. Let's put this back. Um, another way to catch your fish is with a fishing net. Now here, the whalers actually saying pearl oyster when I look at this, but it is a fishing net. Um, over time this will catch fish and it, they'll just appear as entities here underneath so you're going to need a way to um, uh, harvest the entities that will spawn under these nets and the last way to catch fish is through an automatic fisher so as you can see you're going to need to supply it with redstone flux and you can pipe out with both buildcraft and thermal expansion and all you do is put your rod into the top slot here and your bait, so in this case I'm using more minnow um, these machines will accept the capacitor and hyperkinetic upgrade so that will speed up the time it takes to fish and this one will uh, increase the amount of redstone flux that can be stored 
So we just turn this on and see it running. If we uh, just turn that on. So I was testing it a bit earlier. There you can see we've got some leather and some ink. So it doesn't just catch fish. I was playing around with this earlier as well and it doesn't seem to be work working the auto eject. There we caught a cod by the look of it. And there we have a female cod. So if you look at the blue text and beside it you have the the female icon, which is the circle with the cross below it. And there's the male icon there. So that's your there are the three ways to catch your fish. The next thing you'd want to do is to start breeding them. And we do that with a fish feeder. So if I just go back into creative here. So you craft yourself one of these and surround it with water. Uh, the more water it has around it will determine how much fish food that you can store within. So we see here we've got 96 in the internal buffer. And this one will also be 96, even though it's a bigger pool. But I think it has something to do with the fact that I've built it on the edge of an ocean. Um, if we see these ones here, this one can hold 160, and this one also can hold 160. So once you have your fish feed feeder built and placed in the world, you want to put some fish food in. You can do that with fish meal. If you look here, it says uh, provides 12 fish food per fish meal. Now you can put bait in there also, but if you look on the tooltip, it says one fish food per ant bait and so on. Uh, the bait worms, they're uh, marginally better, but not amazing. So in order to get your fish meal, all you need to do is get your raw fish. Let's see if I have some lying around. So any raw fish that you have, I have one there. But we'll take this cod and I'll show you that you can also just kill the fish by chucking it onto the floor. And over a amount of time it should... Yeah, there you go. It's turned into a raw cod. Now what you do with the raw fish is um crafting table. Just place that into a crafting table and it'll turn into fish meal. Uh, there's two ways you can fill up your fish feeders. One is just to throw in the fish meal. Now if the buffer was empty it would consume that and fill it up. And the other way is just to place it in this top slot here. So now that we have some fish food in the fish feeders, we're going to need to put a male and a female fish in there. So if we grab just a basic minnow and place it inside, and you see here it's not going to start working because there's one of the requirements is missing. So if you hover over their health bars, it says there it says prefers fresh water. So that leads nicely into the upgrades. So if we look into this chest here, now we've got um, some heating upgrades which will heat up the water. So if the fish, if that um, health bar says too cold, you simply put a heating upgrade in there. And each tier of upgrade will heat the f water further. So you'd have to keep an eye on how much further you need to go before the fish is uh, comfortable and satisfi satisfied. Now the next upgrade will be the cooling which does the reverse and cools it down to cold water. Um, the storage upgrade will increase the amount of fish food that you can have in the buffer. Uh, the impurity upgrades will uh, force your fish to breed faster. So if we look down here I have, I've stacked them here so I have three so any fish that I put in here, their health bars will go down considerably faster and will speed up the breeding process. 
Um, we also have the salinator upgrade, which will turn the water into salt water. The filtrator upgrade, which will purify the water and turn it to fresh water. As we can see here, this one wanted fresh water, so if we put the filtrator in there, that makes them happy and they can they start breeding. Um, and then we have the ethereal upgrade, which will turn the waters into magical waters. And then we have the internal life for the male and the female, which will keep the once you have your like super ultimate bred fish, you put them upgrades in and they'll they will continue to live and produce items for you. So that's the key thing with this uh, breeding. It's a lot like forestry uh, breeding with the bees. You get items off these fish. Um, you'd have to breed. Cross, start crossbreeding some of these wild fish to get some hidden fish. I'm not going to go into all the fish because that will spoil it for you. But uh, start experimenting, crossbreeding, and see what you can come up with. Um, that's all the upgrades. So once the cycle's complete and these fish die off, the female will always leave some eggs. Uh, so the next process would be to put them into an incubator, which is what you see here. Now the incubator is a multi-block, consists of the incubator base and two bits of the top. Oh, got that one way around. And it will turn into the structure. Again, this one requires uh, redstone flux to operate. And it also accepts some upgrades, I'll go through them quickly. Capacitor upgrade will increase the redstone flux storage. The heating upgrade will make the incubator process the eggs faster. Uh, sorry, it will process more eggs at a time. Um, well, I can demonstrate that now. I've got some eggs here that I prepared earlier. So we place them in. You can see once the first cycle goes. So 44 eggs remaining. And then it consumed 12, was that? And now if I take the heating upgrade out, it, it uh, consumes 1 at a time. So that just speeds up how many eggs are spawned. And the hyperkinetic upgrade obviously increases the cycle time. Now don't forget that the, the faster you uh, want this to go the more redstone flux it's going to draw. So just keep that in mind. So once the incubator is complete and finished with its uh, spawning of eggs you will always get a male and a female of um, whatever type of egg that you put in there. I did actually make some hybrids earlier but they seem to have gone or unless they've finished here. So I had a, a cod and a damselfish I think. So we put these in here. Um, also I believe you can use uh, thermal expansion and build craft to pipe out of here and in. And you've got the auto eject and the redstone control, as with most mariculture machines. I'll take some of these out. Um, obviously, have a little look through the fishing and breeding book. Uh, really good source of information. Will help you out with uh, certain traits that fish have. And. Uh, yeah, something you should definitely read, as it's from the mod author himself. So, I'm just going to cut here and let this go and see what we get. Okay, so that process completed and we got some damselfish out of it. Uh, that was from a hybrid egg as well. Um, if you can see here, we've got lifespan, fertility, and productivity. Um, they're all explained in a bit more detail in the book. It's a lot similar to the. Um, bee breeding from forestry and these are things that you can breed into and out of fish so you can actually make your super fish so that is fish breeding in the most basic sense uh, because I've only shown you the eight basic types of fish that can be caught in the wild I'm not like I said earlier I'm not going to spoil it but you can um, there's quite a few fish to find and some useful products that they produce so yeah just uh, experiment and see how you get on. 
Um, if you'd like a more in-depth explanation, just let me know in the comments, and I'll see if I can get on with that. But um, uh, that's it for now. That's the end of the mariculture tutorial. If uh, this was useful in any way, uh, leave a like, and let me know if any anything was incorrect or you think I made a mistake somewhere. And I'll see you again soon.